In a bid to neutralize the increasing violence evident in the street of 80, Kenya has officially commissioned the 600 more police officers to join the first group currently assisting in maintaining peace in Haiti. So in terms of being able to support our officers on the ground, including those who are joining next month, um, we have resources to make sure that um, they have every support that they need up to March 2025. This follows the fresh attacks where last week members of the Grand Griff Gang carried out one of the country's deadliest attacks in the recent years, killing at least 115 people in a farming region. Heavily armed gangs which control most of the capital Port Au Prince have continued to gain territory. On Friday at State House Nairobi, 80 Prime Minister Gary Konile pleaded for multinational security support to be beefed up. As you have pointed out, begin the rebuilding process and we're committed to doing so. Uh, now obviously our partners will have to step up and meet the commitments they've made and the time is now. There is a sense of urgency. The progress that we're seeing is contingent on us continuing to provide the Haitian people with the relief that is desperately needed and of course that will only happen if the many commitments that were made by the international community actually materialized. So I'm also here to make a plea to our friends from other countries to come back uh, to the commitments they've made and to ensure that as urgently as possible. We believe the situation in Haiti is winnable. And we are asking the international community to match their commitment, their pledges, with the necessary action for us to be able to complete the task ahead of us. Over 700 people in 80 have fled their homes and over 5 million are going hungry, nearly half the populations according to the United Nations. John Matava, Prime Africa News.